Hello everybody, Joe Gothry here with another lighthearted devotional. Today's is called Setting the Faith on Fire, Prophets in the Fivefold Ministry. I have an admiration for the prophets. They've got the incredible job of delivering God's word, often to a crowd that's not particularly interested in hearing it. Talk about working under pressure. In Amos 3.7, New King James Version tells us, Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his, his servants, the prophets. Elijah, one of the big guns of the prophetic world, once had a showdown with 450 prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. You guys remember this story, right? It was a spiritual showdown for the ages. 1 Kings 18, 21, 22, and 24, New King James Version says, And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people answered him, Not a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bowls, and let them choose one bowl for themselves. Cut it in pieces, lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it. And I will prepare the other bowl, lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it. The plan was simple. The one who could call down fire to consume the bowl would be acknowledged as the true God. The prophets of Baal went first. They did their chants. They did their dances. They even tried some self-mutilation. No fire. Nada. Zip. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. Then Elijah steps up. But before he does, he tells the people to soak his bowl and the wood with water. Three times. I mean, talk about confidence. That's like trying to set a barbecue or start a barbecue in the midst of a hurricane. Then Elijah prays. He doesn't scream or dance around. He just stands there and prays. And then, whoosh, fire from the sky consumes the bowl, the stones, the water, and even the dust around the altar. Can you imagine the look on the people's faces? I bet even the prophets of Baal were considering a quick career change. But in all seriousness, what Elijah demonstrates here is the incredible courage and faith of prophets. They're the ones that speak, that spark the church's fire, who aren't afraid to get their feet wet and then call down the fire. Prophets challenge us. They call us out when we're faltering between two opinions. They remind us to step up and stop dithering like we're choosing between decaf and regular. And most and make a commitment to follow God. So here's to all the prophetic voices out there. We appreciate your boldness and your faith. You remind us that sometimes to witness the power of God, you have to be willing to pour water on the plans and trust him to set the fire. God bless you all. Hey, if you like my videos, please consider giving me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel with a bell notification on, and share these videos with anyone who you think might enjoy them. I hope you have a great and blessed day. God bless you all.